this that would be a, a buff. Buff five. It would be. It would be a buff five. Let me let me check. Alright, Josh has done streaming. Uh yeah. Alright, that is winner semis. This is top eight. The one seed and the four seed. Jason's not in pajamas right now. He wears a suit at home every day during quarantine. Just FYI. Oh yeah, for sure. If you wanted to know how much of a nerd he is. Alright, so I expect... Oh, just miss. Such smart jabs. I expect Boom to kind of expose just Ness weaknesses, because he's just that good that... And so like, just, just Boom really just does things. Character we yeah, like, like, every other DK, when they clanked that up B with Ness, they would have tried to do another up B. But instead, he just pivoted away and grabbed. Uh, one thing that DK can do really well against Ness is use that up B to kind of steal his uh, double jump. That was good by Frey, and that's I want to see um, players like the, uh, a nice exploit against DK is like if you force him to be in a position where he has to use that up B, where you you know it's coming and you bait it out instead of getting caught by it, and really trying to extend and go for something. And of course, there's two hits, so you can even shield grab between those hits, but Boom doing a great job of like, once that first hit gets shielded, he pulls back. Yeah, yeah, he, he's pulling back like just far enough that Frey can't dash in and grab after the shield or, or really get anything. Marino said Boom does what he wants and works to survive, I guess. I think for the most part, about him. And that's it's like, just, like pretty he does true. Things, and you're like, oh, does that work? And it's like, no, it worked in that situation because Boom knew it would work, and he did it. It doesn't work. That was crazy. All right, so game two, and this is a best of five. This is a best of five. <coughs> Smirk, girl. Right. Nice dashes to down air. Good ledge hop from uh, Frey. That up up air. Boom just makes it very hard to keep pressure on. It's so good. Oh, great. Uh, get up attack. There we go. Oh yeah, Moreno is near. In case you didn't know. So why would why is Boom facing the other way and then turning around and down tilting? So in case in case he goes a little too high, Boom can back air or he can grab. Yeah, I guess he goes too far. Yeah, I think it's just because DK has that back air as an option when facing away. He also has yeah. the up B. Um, but when he sees what Frey does, he just does like a quick little turn and uses what he thinks is a better option. Boom on his recovery before. Oh, it's oh, the, there too. That so DI is so cool. Oh, that, that canceled punch and, and uh, forward air was crazy, but he hit with a weird hitbox of it. Boom, this, even before on the right side when he was recovering, he didn't try to avoid the down air. Instead, he tried to get as close to the stage as possible, knowing he would take the down air and try to DI up. But Frey here brings it back to even stock wise. Oh, wow. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, he looked like Boom looked like he was going to try to avoid that initially. And Maybe Frey was just a little up. slow on that up tilt. He had Boom in the tech roll uh, for it should have been. It's normally for Frey an easy follow up. He just missed it. Oh, and Frey's got to be careful pushing Boom off the plaids when he showed it as well. There it is again. He went. He goes all the way for it, but Frey just a little too quick that time. Hits him early enough with the down air that Boom can't get any DI to get back on the stage. Yeah, DK is just so so vulnerable from above like that. Uh, that's exactly the way to take advantage of it. And now you see Boom recovering high, so it can't yeah. happen again. Oh, good mix up for Boom. Backing backing up there. Oh, and he uses the up B there as well. Oh! Whoa, oh. mix up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right into Boom's loving arms. So 
Frey being extra careful here. Oh, no mash out. Boom, yeah, getting the set up in edge guard. Oh, and he does a fast fall up air to set up that next hit. Ooh, and he, he, he didn't go for uh, he heat attack. Oh, man. And you see, Boom didn't go for the stage spike throw because he respected Frey's mash. He thought maybe Frey would mash out, so he just did the regular throw throw. Supposed to earlier, uh, I forget who Grim was playing, but he he went for the stage spike. I mean, Frey's making this close. Like DK's so big, and Ness has such me like needy combos that if he does get the hit, um, he could do a lot of damage with it. There you go, trying to keep Boom on the platform. Yeah. Nice. Boom, Boom faded back Not just Boom. to just to snipe that. Very heads up decision making there. It's an important thing to be aware of. Like, if you know you're not getting back, it's just like, oh, well, how can I take them with me? Boom, putting the pressure on there with that back air forces Ness to try to go for the edge and the down tilt. Boom, one of the best edge guarders in the game for sure. I don't think there's a, an aspect of the game that you wouldn't be able to say Boom is one of the best in. But his edge guarding is just, uh, if you take any part of his game and just kind of like examine it, it's just, it could be really helpful as a player. Nice. Ooh. Oh, the oh, punch. Man. Oh, man, the crowd goes absolutely wild. Finish it with, is, finishes it with style. And now we know what Jason's been doing, just pulling up the best crowd pit shots. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think, I think, I think the, I've seen... Is, I think this is the crowd from when 64 made it into... <laughs> when 64 first became a competitor.